The dynamic process by which the single-cell human zygote becomes a 100 trillion cell adult is perhaps the most remarkable phenomenon in all of nature. Researchers now know that many of the routine functions performed by the adult body become established during pregnancy, often long before birth. The developmental period before birth is increasingly understood as a time of preparation during which the developing human acquires the many structures and practices the many skills needed for survival after birth. Pregnancy in humans normally lasts approximately 38 weeks as measured from the time of fertilization or conception until birth. During the first eight weeks following fertilization, the developing human is called an embryo, which means growing within. This time, called the embryonic period, is characterized by the formation of most major body systems. From the completion of eight weeks until the end of pregnancy, the developing human is called a fetus, which means unborn offspring. During this time, called the fetal period, the body grows larger and its systems begin to function. All embryonic and fetal ages in this program refer to the time since fertilization. Biologically speaking, human development begins at fertilization, when a woman and a man each combine 23 of their own chromosomes through the union of their reproductive cells. A woman's reproductive cell is commonly called an egg, but the correct term is oocyte. Likewise, a man's reproductive cell is widely known as a sperm, but the preferred term is spermatozoan. Following the release of an oocyte from a woman's ovary in a process called ovulation, the oocyte and spermatozoan join within one of the uterine tubes, which are often referred to as fallopian tubes. The uterine tubes link a woman's ovaries to her uterus or womb. The resulting single cell embryo is called a zygote, meaning yoked or joined together. The zygote's 46 chromosomes represent the unique first edition of a new individual's complete genetic blueprint. This master plan resides in tightly coiled molecules called DNA. 
They contain the instructions for the development of the entire body. DNA molecules resemble a twisted ladder known as a double helix. The rungs of the ladder are made up of paired molecules or bases called guanine, cytosine, adenine and thymine. Guanine pairs only with cytosine and adenine with thymine. Each human cell contains approximately 3 billion of these base pairs. The DNA of a single cell contains so much information that if it were represented in printed words, simply listing the first letter of each base would require over 1.5 million pages of text. If laid end to end, the DNA in a single human cell measures three and a third feet or one meter. If we could uncoil all of the DNA within an adult's 100 trillion cells, it would extend over 63 billion miles. This distance reaches from the Earth to the Sun and back 340 times. Approximately 24 to 30 hours after fertilization, the zygote completes its first cell division. Through the process of mitosis, one cell splits into two, two into four, and so on. As early as 24 to 48 hours after fertilization begins, pregnancy can be confirmed by detecting a hormone called early pregnancy factor in the mother's blood. By three to four days after fertilization, the dividing cells of the embryo assume a spherical shape and the embryo is called a morula. By four to five days, a cavity forms within this ball of cells and the embryo is then called a blastocyst. The cells inside the blastocyst are called the inner cell mass and give rise to the head, body and other structures vital to the developing human. Cells within the inner cell mass are called embryonic stem cells because they have the ability to form each of the more than 200 cell types contained in the human body. After travelling down the uterine tube, the early embryo embeds itself into the inner wall of the mother's uterus. This process, called implantation, begins six days and ends 10 to 12 days after fertilization. Cells from the growing embryo begin to produce a hormone called human chorionic gonadotropin, or HCG, the substance detected by most pregnancy tests. HCG directs maternal hormones to interrupt the normal menstrual cycle, allowing pregnancy to continue. Following implantation, cells on the periphery of the blastocyst give rise to part of a structure called the placenta, which serves as an interface between the maternal and embryonic circulatory systems. The placenta delivers maternal oxygen, nutrients, hormones, and medications to the developing human, removes all waste products, and prevents maternal blood from mixing with the blood of the embryo and fetus. The placenta also produces hormones and maintains embryonic and fetal body temperature slightly above that of the mother's. The placenta communicates with the developing human through the vessels of the umbilical cord. The life support capabilities of the placenta rival those of intensive care units found in modern hospitals. By one week, cells of the inner cell mass form two layers called the hypoblast and epiblast. The hypoblast gives rise to the yolk sac, which is one of the structures through which the mother supplies nutrients to the early embryo. Cells from the epiblast form a membrane called the amnion, 
within which the embryo and later the fetus develop until birth. By approximately two and a half weeks, the epiblast has formed three specialized tissues or germ layers called ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm.